Yeah. Hey, Mark Gross here, Renee Grenlinger with Celebrity Biograph, and we're here with the tall, the cool, the good-looking Mr. Peter <laughs> Williams. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, be hypnotized, be hypnotized. <laughs> <laughs> well, fans, you know yeah, him hey. best as a twirling little thing. No, Apophis, Stargate. Oh, my God, Stargate. How did you get the role as that? And tell us a little bit about movie versus, uh, you know, the TV series. Oh, well, first of all, my first, my first exposure to Stargate, like everybody else, was in the movie. Yes. Yes. Well, of course, we I was know, right. I wasn't on the screen. I was sitting in the seat. I know. <laughs> I know. Sitting in the seat. I know. And I was I watching know. it like everybody else with Kurt Russell. Right. And uh, let's not forget, Alexis Cruz was in that movie. That's right. Alexis Cruz. Well, I interviewed him here at Shirley a few years ago. You did? I think he was the only one in the film that made it to the TV series. He's the only right, one. Right, because everybody else was, you know. And I was fortunate enough to be in his storyline because he played my son, Chlorel. That's right. And, That's right. Um, He's still my son, and I love him dearly. <laughs> and we wish he was here. Do you, do you get to see him? Oh, we see each other all the time. Wow. Yes. Alexis Cruz is one of my favorite people. Outstanding. He is, he, he is an intellectual of the highest order, and he is a guy with, 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 very with nice amazing integrity, integrity, and he's good. fascinating to hang with. Good, good. And you know, I got to tell you, I don't. I, I, we worked together on Stargate, but we didn't work together more than. A, the, the odd day here and the odd day right, there. Right, scenes that were coming up. Exactly, sure. yeah. exactly. Yeah, I know you guys weren't. But then enter the convention circuit. Yeah. And we get to hang out in <laughs> London, England. Now, how long have you been doing Australia. these conventions? I have been doing these conventions for nearly a couple of decades. And how do you like it? Uh, I love it. I love it. I mean, how, when else are you ever going to get to go to Australia and oh New Zealand? Oh, my God. And fan recognition's mm -hmm. right there for you. How did you get into Tell acting? Tell me about it. How did you get into acting? Into acting? Well, that's a circuitous thing. I, um, I got out of university with a geography and archaeology degree. Uh -huh. Oh, oh my God! Perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, but you try he and try might have dug up the Stargate. <laughs> and he's not telling anybody. <laughs> hey, that's that, that's one of my punchlines. Yeah. Okay. Right, oh. That's one of my punchlines. I, um, <laughs> I, you try and translate a geography and archaeology degree <laughs> degree into into a career. Into Stargate. It's not very easy. <laughs> As fate would have it, I wind up in Ottawa, Canada. Ottawa, Canada. I, I'm a Jamaican, by the way. I'm yes, born, I'm hearing, I'm born and yeah. raised we know. in Jamaica. Come on. Come on. Somebody had to, somebody had to say that. Before, now we have a Jamaican. <laughs> we all have to do it. This right. interview yeah. is brought to you by Yaman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you know no, what? No, no, no. no, 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 no yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, I think as of day before yesterday, it's legal where I come from. Not in Oh, not in Maryland. Maryland. No, no, no. Oh, bro. <laughs> no, go on. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. That. Yeah. So I get out of university with this with this uh, Bachelor of Arts, BA, bugger all, as they wow. say. Wow. And you can't get hired doing anything. Actually, you know, that's not true. Right. I, I got the first job I had when I land in Canada is I worked for Environment Canada. That's like your EPA. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Right. And, um, I had the job to plot the rate of movement of the glaciers on Baffin Island. No nice. doubt! How That's exciting cool. is that? No, that is cool. Glaciers is ain't so exactly good. Usain well, they're Bolt. Not they're they're not going, really but quick. But it's a cool gig. It's a very cool gig to I mean, talk about 20 glaciers. years later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're not there anymore, are they? Oh my God. Well, they are, but they're significantly smaller. So. And this roll into, into the acting career. Right. Well, one day, <laughs> one day, my brother sees an ad in the newspapers. Whose life is it anyway? Starring Richard Dreyfus. Me. In the movie. Right, right. You know what? Dude, I, I, knew I don't there was hear it more than God 20 times a day. And we, <laughs> and we just interviewed him five weeks ago. Well, look yeah. at this. Whose life is it anyway? Was was uh, they were mounting a play in Ottawa, okay. and they needed to cast the guy who played the hospital orderly, right. who was no. described as a black guy with a British accent. No, I, I had a British accent because I had studied in England oh, okay. wow. at that time, oh, do it. or I could do, do it. it. Do it, do it. 
Well, you know, they come in various forms. No, 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 I like no. The Jamaican just, thing already. Just because Renee. I'm following Peter Kalamis, who is a master of accents, <laughs> you, you will be following. You throw me him. on no, the hot no. seat, mate. No, we're well, not running well, back to back. Anyway, you have your own time. Slot. Anyway, I can do it. I can do it <laughs> if I must. Oh, well, well, but well. As a hospital orderly, I was, I was, I was given the task of cheering up Richard Dreyfus, the character of Richard Dreyfus, who was in the hospital bed and he, he couldn't use any of his limbs, you know, because he was a quadriplegic. He was a quadriplegic. Anyway, I've, actually, I've done myself proud there. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah that was really good. But the salient point here is that my character had every funny line in that play. Oh, wow, and Mar nice. Margaret Trudeau, the wife of the previous prime minister and the mother of the current prime minister of Canada, had written a, had an article in one of the women's magazines where she said that Whose Life Is It Anyway was her favorite play. Wow. So we played at Amateur Theatre, so I wasn't getting rich over this, but we played to packed houses I in bet. Ottawa for a solid that month. That is too cool. And every night of the week, I had people, every time I opened my mouth, I had them cracking up. <laughs> so I decided, up, right... Do you do stand -up? No, I don't. You don't? Perhaps I should. You're awesome. Right. Ad lib is it now, these, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, well, whose line is it anyway? That's that. And if you can do a British accent, that. you know that that's as good as that's as good as gold. You get you get hired wherever you go. No, the Jamaican's pretty good. And the Jamaican is pretty good too. The Jamaican's pretty good. Well, if you want to talk like that, I can talk like that too. You know, but well, we want to know the people that want to understand me. How did you get the role so, as a pop? Because yeah, it's man, such a great. Role. All right, I'm, I'm going to fast forward. I'm just going to just lickety split through this thing. After the Whose Life Is It experience, I uh, I realized that this I got the bug. I was right. infected at this point, yeah, and I went. I moved to Toronto to become an actor. So, six or seven restaurants later, because you know you don't just go and become an actor. You have to you wait on a go. few yeah. tables. Yeah, yeah. You got to be a waiter first. No, That's, you were probably an awesome. Waiter. I was a fantastic. In fact, I was such a good waiter. They made they made me the maitre d. <laughs> You can't get higher than that's that. right. No, you can't get higher than Maitre D, man. Yeah, that's right. Anywhere, anywhere you go. <laughs> so, long story short, long story short, I did a bit of modeling because I'm a real pretty guy. Yes, pretty guy. Uh, as a YouTube, guy. yeah, you're a pretty guy. I'm a Richard Dreyfuss right, right. He's a pretty guy. That's right. And we, you know what? You look like my real estate agent. I do. Is yeah. that a good thing? Hey, is that a good thing? That is a good thing. I love her dearly. Okay. She's done good by me. How many houses have you sold? That's great. Well, I used to own a piece of land, but you know what? We won't talk about that. Yeah, we we do these tangents, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, so, um, um, long story short, I wind up in Vancouver. I wind up in Vancouver, which is where Stargate was shot. shot right and I, I got to Vancouver right at the time where the film industry was just about to explode. It seems that's the story of my life. Wow. Timing. Timing is, Timing al is has always been yeah. great for me. Agreed. Yeah. Serendipity of life. I had already been on a series in Canada, a series called Neon Rider. I was um, fairly well known there. And I, I, it, on that series, I grew dreadlocks. I had wow. no. shoulder-length dreadlocks. So you look at this aquiline, pretty boy, brown, brown guy face. <laughs> with dreadlocks. With dreadlocks. And you think, Jay Davidson, Stargate movie. I looked right? like yes. Ra. Yeah. I yeah. looked a bit you like Ra. Like That's Ra. right. Yes. So after my first audition for Stargate, which, for it, which in fact was for the role of Teal, you were you were up for the role of the, you know I, I did an hour interview with him that did guy you? is so cool and he was yeah. here a couple years ago but you were up for tilk uh, I went for tilk first yeah. and yeah. I'll tell you I, and I'll As tell you Egyptian you're you're an Egyptian we know why I didn't get that part right <laughs> a my biceps are not as big. <laughs> B, I look well, more Egyptian, yeah. so but I you think. Do. You do. Yeah. You do yeah. really fit perfect with that role, man. Right. I think you hey. knocked it out of the park. Yeah. It was wonderful. They saw it. Yeah. They saw it in my audition. So I was given the role of Apophis. I had to wait for it several weeks until they made up their minds, but it all it all shook out right as it should have in good, the end. Good. I do have one important mm -hmm. question because yeah. I'm a huge Stargate fan. And is there anything? And I, I asked some guests this that's behind the scenes of Stargate when you were shooting that you can tell us that nobody else knows. What yeah. happened anytime, I mean something fun, something prolific, something, we need to know some tidbit 
of why you were shooting the series. Getting stuff in the I know you need to know that. I know you need to know that, but you have to be aware that as the bad guy, <laughs> I was I was used sparingly. You were, I, I was that. brought around for the uh, for the I season know. openers, the season enders, right, the right. cliffhangers, the ratings yeah. weeks yeah. shows, right, right. the double episodes, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, and, and nobody um, could touch you. Well, you had a shield around you anyway. So. Well, yeah, I, I had and all kinds of technology yes, at my did. disposal. And if they mess with you too much, you just zap them. You don't mess with the go old. <laughs> <laughs> the go old is not to be messed with. And right they now. didn't mess with me. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is that if anything ever happened that was a uh, anecdote worthy right right it has been told to death oh. so there is nothing that you haven't heard as the viewer okay. that i can tell you right that'll on. that'll that'll uh, titillate the viewership look, any look, any look, any, any more you a fan of sci-fi and horror in the genre for yourself personally well i was, like this uh... i'm older than i look i cut my <laughs> eye teeth <laughs> i cut my eye teeth on the original star trek like everybody else here uh, so you know Spock and the whole bunch they were right, all my they were all my heroes outstanding. and um, I really liked what that show represented and yeah. how it uh, the diversity it int introduced into 60s television That's awesome. and right. um, to this day I'm an unshakable fan even though I've just met William Shatner who didn't shake my hand he didn't uh, now where did you meet him next time dude next time yeah. Were you backstage? Did I met him uh, about uh, 30 yards that way. Yeah, he was 30 yards. Yeah, he was 30 he yards was that well way. well protected. Yeah. He said hi, though. He is did. There anything, yeah, so I'll take that as a positive. Is there anything that you want to bring up that's coming yeah, up? Yeah, what can you promote? Where are you uh, be? Our last what question. You doing? What do you want to when get out there? When you start up your stand-up career? <laughs> yep. The stand-up career, I think, just started. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be following you. <laughs> right now, I, um, I'm doing a lot of Caribbean films because I'm finding okay. I'm getting a lot of love back home where I actually oh, live nice. in my heart. Nice. Uh, being Jamaica, and nice. I've just recently discovered that the entire Caribbean isn't Jamaica. Right on. There are a lot of different islands with a lot of beautiful yes. little, um, yes. little, little bits to them. And, uh, yes. you know... The, I, I enjoy the um, the exposure down there, and I'm getting a lot of exposure down there as a child of that soil. Yes. Um, I'm pro programming the 13th annual Caribbean Tales Film Festival in Toronto Sweet. this this fall. Nice uh, I'm also in one of the feature films that is going to be oh, premiering oh, at that oh, film can festival. You, can you talk about it? It's called Hero. <gasps> He's talking about it. It's called Hero Film. Uh, you can go on Facebook, Hero Film, hashtag Hero Film, and you will be able to find out a lot more about it. It's, uh, in short, it's about a Trinidadian uh, RAF pilot. A lot of Caribbean men went and fought in the war for the Brits, yeah. and they stayed over there after the war. Yeah, Royal Air Force, Many sure. of them went to law school. This particular yeah. guy went to law school. Wow. Um, and he, they, they got sent to Africa to assist emerging, emerging independent nations in Africa to really build their systems of jurisdiction jurisprudence, their uh, law faculties at their universities, that sort of thing. And um, it, the, the movie is based on the, the real life uh, adventures of one man by the name of Ulrich Cr Cross. He was a Trinidadian. I don't play Ulrich. I play a fictitious character. Oh, this cool. is a this is a docu well, like this is a this characters. is a yeah. docu fiction, <laughs> if you will. Yes. And um, my character spices it up. I, if I told you any more, it would nice. be a little bit of a spoiler. And you'd have to kill us, right? And I would have to kill you. Hero film, Facebook. Nice. nice. Awesome. Peter, awesome. you were a wonderful interview, Thank man. You. Thank you very much. Shirley, Renee, Mark, Celebrity Biograph, <laughs> Apophis, Peter Williams. Thank you, sir. Shirley, Thank you. 2018. Yes.